What do they need to be aware of? Yeah. They lost their gifts too, dumbasses. Coming up with whatever gifts they had. And anybody, if they went to, if, you know, they, they were having, you know, some, some people like the whatever, whatever practitioners they were going to, to send these attacks to you, um, they, they're losing, you know, they should have did their research before they did that, before they did anything. Um, and some of them did, and they still did it anyway, because they were bribed a lot of money. They lost their gifts. They're also getting this backfire too. And um, anybody, like any of these people that are involved that's collaborating with these people, anybody that was attacking you while you're in your purpose and attacking your gifts especially, they're all losing their gifts, whatever gifts they were, they were abusing. Confirmation. You might end up getting it and it's come to their attention that they lost. Loss, right? Because you're too more of a person. And you're in your destiny. You're in your you're in your in your purpose. You're doing what God sent you here to do. Right, let me just put this over here. And there's some evidence of some sort of loss. Like someone could I feel like someone's going to prison too for unaliving somebody. Like I said, maybe for this. And you're gonna sue it's come to their attention. You're gonna sue these this whole collaboration. And you're still getting your good luck and fortune. Somebody lost the lawsuit. They realize they're losing this lawsuit or whatever. Whatever they try to do. Because you're too more of a person. Fucking morons. Somebody could have lost their own family, or this is like your karmic ass family that you're gonna sue. Let's card for a second together. Or, or it's a family. It could be your own family. It could be, you know, a karmic family coming up against you. Or you're gonna sue these people though. And they, it's come to their attention that they cursed their own bloodline, their own family themselves and their, their whole fucking bloodline. That's why you don't do this shit. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones have passed away. What is the color? Thank you. Yeah, they want to dominate you, right? We have Marinette in the reverse. No, it's come to their attention that you're not fucking the, the devil's little puppet. They are. They ain't dominating shit. You're a professional over here. This whole time you were wearing a mask, like you never let you. What, what I mean by that is, like, you, you don't show your hand, right? You don't show how strong and powerful and how professional you are. They didn't see that you were this spiritual leader, that you were extremely gifted, that you were this strong, this powerful. So they thought you were an easy target. They thought they could dominate you. They thought that, like, you know, especially whoever this professional was, that they spent a lot of money on to go to this practitioner, uh, whoever it was, that they were going to be able to. Fuck no. You ain't dom they ain't didn't dominate shit. You're gonna sue these people for trying to dominate you, to try and have you in fright, try and get you incarcerated, try and get you put into a fucking mental institution. They are literally trying to make you go crazy. And they're staging things and make it look like you're crazy. So like, you know, they had like they're like recording you and doing just like shit so that, you know, um if 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 you're just on the outside looking in you didn't know what was going on you would you would look crazy you do you would look crazy but it was because of what these people are doing there's evidence of it and thank god and this is exactly why god made sure that he had one of his earth angels um be like end up being an undercover cop you know what i mean and be it like come into this so that they would have first hand they would know so that this because from other people on the outside that didn't know what was going on they would it would look like you were crazy it would look like you know what i mean but it's because how strategic they were and everything that they set up so it looks like you were crazy all right but you're not so now god made sure that like you know somehow god figured out and their their undercover cop like ended up coming in and into the mix that they, like, they just happened to you know come however it happened you know what i mean and they did they would bribe them and they're like oh yeah let's do this and this was a very good undercover cop it was an earth angel and they've been there like almost the whole time almost the whole time if not the whole time and they're taking these people down and it's a very well respected you know um cop as well officer or it's like it's like a, a, you know um this person's very well known, very respected, like the best of, you know, the, the best in, in their, in whatever department that they're in. Yeah. 
they didn't dominate shit. You persevered through this shit. Whatever they tried to send you, they wanted you bound to something. Like they wanted you literally to be possessed. And whatever they sent to you was something extremely fucking dark, dude. When I tell you, it was supposed to take over you. You were supposed to be like the devil's little puppet. But thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That did not happen. You were able to persevere through this like it was nothing. You probably didn't even notice it. This shit could have happened last fucking night. Or if anything, you felt like a little bit. This happened within the last couple of days. Could have been last night. It was in what it was from like either the day before the the, the the new moon up until like last night this morning is when they sent this last attack. I'm strongly sure getting. And you persevered it, you threw it. You you probably didn't even um even notice it because you're too protected or you know you might have okay and the more that you did notice it like that just showed you even more how um how dark it was and just imagine you know what i mean what this backfire is going to be because they want to like be the best of the best to do this and they spent a lot of your money to do this too and also, I'm getting these fucking morons, right? Now, they're, they're, they're going around trying to sue the practitioner. They're trying to sue the readers that they were getting these readings. Like, they're like, they're fucking dumb. First of all, you, you, can't, you can't do that, okay? You can't. You're fucking dumb. All right, first of all, practitioner, like, what the fuck? How dumb do you even sound? You are like, like, what? <laughs> like, what? Oh, yeah, so what, you're going to take them to court and be like, hey, um, they were supposed to honor why the clock? Like, what? <laughs> do you not hear yourself, you fucking moron? Um, and with readers, like, with readings, it's bylaw we have to put in there. Oh, shit. Hold oh, on. What the fuck's my phone? What's my phone? Oh, my God, guys. I don't know who this is. I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm not going to answer a number I don't know. I get in the call all the time, I'll answer sometimes, and like they just don't say nothing. You just sit there and you hear them breathing on the other side of the fucking creeps. But yeah, they're about to get a call <laughs> that they don't want to get. Trust and believe me when I tell you, okay? <laughs> or knock that they don't want to get. Police! <laughs> or not even, just a fucking boom, doors being kicked in. Got your house surrounded. <laughs> Exit the house with your arms up. <laughs> Pussies on the pavement. Pussies on the pavement. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, how about you? You swinky at me? I don't need to. Not you. Marriage, it could be a couple, or or your ex, or um, a married couple, or just a couple, or it could be, um, you know, whatever. You're okay. I don't remember how they just came out because I was looking at Clyde. I was giving Clyde a kiss, but um, I feel like it's a couple. They don't have to be married. There's evidence that you know there's something about a fucking. You might find out that you're married and you don't even know about it. And it's something about a fake marriage. They could have tried to marry you, doctored up some paperwork, or stole your identity, got married under your name to steal this inheritance. Let's just make this very abundantly clear. I, Miss DMs, was never married. Um, so make this very abundantly clear. <laughs> and if you were never married before, let it be known in the comments, okay? <laughs> let it be known, because somebody could have definitely got, there might be evidence of you being married, or right? a false fucking marriage. to steal this inheritance, or this is what their plans were. Yeah, make it very known, guys. If you were never married before, and if you feel like this reading is resonating with you, let it known in the fucking comments before, <laughs> you know, just in case that's your situation. But there is something definitely here about a fake marriage. That's not for everybody, but that is for somebody. Or this is what their plans were. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, and, and like your past person, okay? Um, it could be, I mean, it, some of you, maybe you were married, okay? But
But um, your past person, they, they were sent in to dominate you. They were unable to do this, okay? They had to withdraw because you were too, they realized you were professional or whatever. Whatever the situation was, I think you just left them. You dropped them like a fucking bad habit. And, uh, you know, you, you kept moving. They were planning on, they were actually sent in. They were, they were bribed a good amount of money to come in to marry you. And they were planning on to, to, to rob you of this inheritance. But you fucking kicked them like a bad habit. There's evidence of this. And they were going to unalive you, too. Eternal love. <laughs> Could have been a soulmate of yours. That fucking, you know, fumble the ball when it came to you. Dumbasses. They would have made out a lot better if they would have just played their fucking cards right with you. Yeah, you persevere through this. There's evidence of it. I'm telling you, whatever they sent you, it was something really, and it was since like the, the day, be, anywhere between the day before this new moon that just passed, up until last night, around like last night, or oh, anywhere between like the day before the, the, the new moon up until like last night, like late last night, early morning, they sent something really fucking dark and they spent a lot of money on this, but you persevered through it. Now they're losing. Now whatever it was they sent to you, it was supposed to take your life. Okay, so it's coming back to them in their bloodline. They could lose their, you know, someone's passing away. Someone's going to pass away. For sure. Natural disaster. And whatever natural disaster these assholes have put in your life, okay, um, in the past, it just like, you know, you, 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 you always persevere through them so angelically, so beautifully. You never let the darkness take, you, take over you. All right, and, and there's evidence of this too. And like that guy said, you really impressed this officer or whoever this is that um, this undercover. They have a lot of love for you. I'm, I don't know if it's like a romantic love, but they have a lot of love for you. It's either a romantic. You might find out that this officer, your fucking your your soulmate or your twin flame. That's not for everybody, but I, I'm sure only getting that. That's for somebody. But um. If not, like, I feel like you're going to end up having a very close, you know, friendship, like, almost to the point where it's going to be like, you're going to be like family. You know what I mean? Like, when this is all done and said, because this person ended up like, they've been protecting you a lot, like, uh, like a lot, a lot. And they absolutely love you. They love you. They adore you. And like, you know, it might not be in a romantic way. It could just be like, they just have so much love for you, for your strength, your courage, and your power, and all that you do, and everything that you've been through, and how divine you've always stayed. And I strongly feel like, you know, you, shit, you might, I don't know, you might end up getting married to this person, okay? Um, or like, you're going to be like really close friends. Like, I feel like on holidays and stuff, like, you just might end up even, like, seeing each other, like, you know, coming over each other's, like, houses, like, celebrating the holidays or something, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like these are going to be really close. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels. Well, at least you're going to, I know you're definitely going to at least be in contact with this person after this is all said and done. Because you're going to grow, like, a really close relationship. You might already, you don't even rise. Yeah, they're not, there's no, yeah, we have compromise in reverse. There's not going to be, there's no, not going to be no compromise. They're not going to bribe nobody. No, you're suing these people. Like I said, don't take this bribe. All right. You're, they, there's not going to be, you're not compromising with nobody. You're going to sue the balls off these people. They're trying to, like I said, they're trying to um, bribe people to come in to wear a mask and like to try to balance the scales or whatever to try to get you, you know, to come. Like I said, do not take no fucking bribes, okay? Do not. This, there's a reason why you were sent in there here with the strength of power you have, okay? Because it was dismantled this place. If you, if you take their bribe and you let them get away with this, you failed your mission. Because you were supposed to take these people down and get rid of them so they because you're not the only person they do this to. But you you're you're not gonna fail your mission. You are going to pass. You know, you're passing you pass all your tests, flying colors, okay? All aces, and you know, you're you're going to complete your mission, all right? And they're fucking butthurt. They're butthurt about this. Yeah, they feel real awkward now. They're they're afraid of the unknown. Like I said, if they had any gifts, they lost their gifts. They could be like their third eye could be blind. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about the bad. Now you see him. Holy Spirit, divine spirit. 
angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What is the collective? Thank you. Oh shit, and don't. Mm -mm. Damn, somebody's fucked. There's not gonna be compromises. We have indul um, indulgent, indulgence, I'm sorry, indulgence in the reverse, and we have blessings in the reverse. Oh shit, yeah, like I said, they were trying to steal your gifts. They lost their blessings. You might be getting their fucking blessings, okay? You're not compromising shit. They're overindulging in drugs or alcohol um, because they're, they're wearing the mask, they're acting like everything is fine, but they're really deep down, they're scared to death, they don't know what to do, they're very hesitant. They're overindulging in drugs and alcohol, and this is a bad idea because when you're in, when you're doing drugs and alcohol, um, it lowers your vibration. And these people are already very low vibrational as it is, so it helps the demonic demon that they sent out to you. Whatever they were sending out to you is now attaching to them, and it makes it even easier because they're in an altered state of mind. This is why you want to be clear-minded, okay? Um, you don't want to be overindulging in drugs and alcohol. You, especially when people are against you like this okay well now that they're doing all this bullshit they're losing their blessings and also they're doing some sort of spell work to try to get you if you ever did drugs or alcohol in your past if you did no shade okay um i was there at one point too all right um then by the grace of god I, i'm i'm not i don't do anything um anymore but um but if you did even if you didn't they were doing some sort of spell work to try to get you to start doing to, to have you indulging in drugs and alcohol so they can steal your blessings it was uh, they were not able to they're not able to do it because you're in your purpose you're too strong you're too powerful you're a whole fucking professional it could have been your ex or it could be this couple and somebody could literally be going through withdrawal for sure like actual physical withdrawals maybe they're incarcerated they're going to go through some like really bad detoxes um you know what I mean? Really bad withdrawal. Somebody could be getting an accident or something. Yeah. It was only a daydream that this was ever going to fucking work. So it's never going to work. How much time is on the clock? Oh, shit. Guys, if you did not hit that like button, please do me a favor. Please hit that like button. Please hit share if you like to share. Please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all. So you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. Information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom up. But with all my heart, I had time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. May God bless real souls tenfold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just realized it's going to be a part two right now. So make sure, you know. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. I'm gonna start paying attention too to see how many likes there are and how many views. See how many karmic people have been watching my shit. <laughs> because karmic karmas be up, you know what I mean? Whatever, yeah. Anybody that coached, anybody that had anything to do with this, bro, I'm telling you right now, they're losing everything. All right, because remember this, but I don't want why I just got neutered, um, like, you know, last week or a few days. I don't know why. A little, it's been like a week now, almost. But um, I don't want to, like, you know, push it, push, like, you know, hurt him, his little his own you know thing so but it's this is supposed to be here anybody that was involved in this that was coaching them anybody involved at all they're going to prison all right they're going to prison they're trying to they might even be trying to come in and to bribe you to try to get you or hiding be wearing a mask hiding behind fake accounts asking you um what to do they might be even coming in like i said they could be if you're a reader or whatever they could be asking you for readings to try to get you to or like you know to try to find out for you to coach them how to persevere through what they what they're going through because you know they're in law so and they know that you persevered through all this so they're trying to figure it out um yeah and in anybody involved in this situation okay they're all losing their blessings they're all losing their gifts anybody involved and the coach anybody and like you know they're they're getting locked up they're <gasps> confirmation anybody involved in this whole situation and i feel like the coach whoever was coaching them to do this is going right to the fucking to the authorities and giving the ev like giving evidence see they're taking notes they're taking notes right and they're going because they don't want to lose out on their blessings they want they don't want to go to prison look they're they're taking notes about everything that's going on and they're going straight to the fucking police and they're giving the the notes and all like the statements and everything to the evidence to like to the police mind you they're still also the undercover cop but this isn't this isn't the undercover cop like the undercover cops doing this too but there's also one of their own people that was coaching them to do all this but they know what they were doing they were like coaching everybody else so they know they're gonna get in more trouble because they're the ones starting it so this person is fucking taking notes and trying to set everybody else up because they know they're they're gonna get the most trouble so they're like then they know that they're caught so they're going around taking notes or they're wearing wires they're taking pictures um you know what i mean and they're taking it right they're trying to frame everybody else set everybody up well not frame because they did have involvement in it but um 
they're trying to, you know what I mean? Because they know that they're going to get in the most trouble. The person whose main idea what this is, is like the biggest fucking rat of them all. Because <laughs> they're scared. They don't want to, they, they, they know they don't, they don't want to, they know they're going to go to prison for the rest of their life. They don't want to go to prison. They don't want to, they don't want to lose their gifts. They don't want to lose. They could be, you know, somebody could be bad health right now that they love. And they know that when they go to prison that this person's going to pass away. It's going to be part of their karma. And they know they're going to pass away in prison. So it's, and it's, it's fucked up because it's the main person. The main person behind this is the one that's collecting evidence on everybody. This was their plan already though. They never thought they would get caught, but they always thought, all right, well, if I get caught, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set everybody else up and I'm going to walk away looking like, you know, I'm like the innocent person. No, that's not the case. And that's why God made sure that the undercover cop was also involved. Okay. with one of the people, but this person who coached it is also still helping out because they're telling on everybody else. You know what I mean? And they're trying to get out of prison for this. They're doing this to try to get out of prison to get less of a time. But I guarantee you right now, they're still going to pass away in prison. <laughs> two, look, 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 guys. Two, two, two. Yeah, your calm, cool, collective have all this inner peace, you know. Beautiful, I love it. Like, look at Clyde, transmuting all the negative energy. He's my little Bobby. I love you, baby. He's a cute guy. Look at his little, sh his leg. They had the shape. It's like right here, and it's the shape of a heart. It's so cute. It looks like they had to give him his IV right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I just showing your cute heart. All right? Because they had to give him, like, the IV there when they, when they neutered him last week. I didn't want to tell anybody when he got it done, just because, you know. He was weakened when it first happened, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't tell anybody until a couple of days later. So that, you know, while he was at his at his most healing, where he needed to heal the most that nobody knew. So they couldn't try to do nothing, you know? To my little cute, my little cutie, but you with cute little bitches. I love you guys. You're my cute guy. Yeah, you try them through. You're going to sue these motherfuckers too, okay? You're suing the balls off these motherfuckers. You try them through whatever this bullshit is, and they see this. And the, and the, and the authorities are also very impressed with you. Um, if you did um, have any addictions, they are so impressed with you, with how you, you know, so gracefully, so beautifully, so angelically, um, were able to just knock these these bad habits off, whatever it was, whether it was alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, whatever it was, whatever you're doing, you you quit, and the the, the authorities are very impressed with you about this too. These people are too. They're hating the fact because a lot of these people are getting they're, they're overindulging in drugs and shit, and they're pissed. They're like, how the fuck does collective do it? Um, I'll tell you how. Uh, very easy with God. That's how. Okay, that's how you do anything is with God. Okay, everything is with you know. You, you the only reason why we get any blessings or anything done in our lives is because of God. The fuck. And if you're, if, you know, if you're with God, then your life is so much easier. And any times that you go through trials and tribulations, you realize that it's, you know, it's not um, against you. It's for you. And you under, you know what I mean? But especially when you to do, to get through anything in your life, especially loss, grief, or anything, any, any, any um, trials or tribulations, anything, you know, it, it's so much easier when you, when you have God on your side helping you. And the angels, you know, God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, the ones that passed away. God can heal anything or anyone. You, you know, He's the one to create His everything, everyone and everything. The fuck. But these people are so low vibrational. They work with the fucking devil and shit. And the devil is known for that shit. You know what I mean? The devil wants them now. Yeah. It was only in their imagination that they were ever gonna fucking succeed at, at, at stealing your blessings or anything like that, or get you to fucking get, go dark or anything. They're fucking idiots. The Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and loved ones. Also, I'm also getting with the Triumph card and the Imagination. Um, I'm surely getting your manifestations are coming in as well, okay? Visualize. You might be, you know, you might be a visualized, like, um, you might be one of the, like, the, the Claire's or multiple Claire's. You could be definitely, ow. Ow, ow, ow. My ankle. Sorry. <laughs> My, um, but, yeah. Yeah, you, you're, this is your corny ass enemies that are trying to come in that are trying to have you dominate it. this couple it's a couple yeah that they, they they they're stalking you online they went online to do this fucking death shit they're fucking dumb 
they're dumb. You triumphed through them, they're going to fuck down. Yeah, because you love yourself too much. You're so, you know, not, you're not selfish. You just, you have a lot of self-love and you're not selfish. You're selfless, but you also, you know, you love yourself. You take care of yourself very well. You realize that your, your body is, your vessel is your, your temple, it's your home. And you're, you know what I mean? And you you love yourself to way too much to let these fucking spiritos back in and, and steal your blessings and, and, and turn you, you know, do anything to you. What's the outcome, please? Thank you. If I get one more for the outcome, please, thank you. Alright, this is the outcome, guys. Oh, shit, cursed. There they are. They're cursed. Yeah, and you're having sweet dreams. Are made of these. Oh, shit. You see Clyde? <laughs> They're pissed. Just like how Clyde just like, knocked out. Like, bitch, you're having sweet dreams over here. <laughs> They're not, though. <laughs> and there's evidence. Okay, see how he pushed it out so I could see evidence? There's evidence that you're having sweet dreams and you're okay. Thank you, Bubby. Thank you, honey, for that. And they're fucking butthurt. There's, but like how Clyde moved this out the way to show me that there's evidence. Oh, and that you thank you, Clyde. And how he moved it away again. There's evidence that you're having sweet dreams, that you're okay. And how he pushed it down so I could see perseverance, so that you persevere through this. Good job, baby. Thank you for your help, honey. I love you. And they are cursed, okay? They are now cursed with whatever they sent out to you. And their home is too. And they're about, you're about to get justice, okay? And they're, they're fighting amongst each other because you're getting this good news and blessings, you know, words of encouragement. They're, you know, you're getting, they also have memories, like, you know, they're, they're, they're tormented with memory, good memories of you and how good and loving, nurturing and caring they are. You are and whatever I, these dumbass, or they realize whatever fucking dumbass idea they had um, was, you know, it was all a nightmare, okay? And they're gonna need help now, aid, yeah, because of this robbery. There's evidence of this robbery, this bully. This bully went on an adventure, right? They traveled. This boy went on an adventure, traveled, right? With some dumbass idea and this stupid ass, big ass head that has, that's filled with nothing but air. Fucking moron. Looking like, ooh, who did it and why? And they're, now they need aid because they traveled somewhere to, you know, there's evidence of them trying to rob you. And they traveled somewhere to do some fucked up shit, like to send this curse to you. And there was evidence of all this. Now they need mercy, they need aid. You know, um, while you're getting good luck and fortune and everything else, it's only a daydream that shit was ever gonna work. They're fucking weirdos and they're losers. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, well, you're getting many, many blessings and these fucking weirdos are done. Till next time, remember God loves you, so do I. Spread love, not hate, always. And um, please do not forget to give God, angel, God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation. Because they are moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles on us, right? They're also getting caught up with this fucking voodoo doll, two of you. They're also getting caught up with this, all right? And please don't forget to give thanks to the authorities, whoever this is, that's bringing this all, all together in 3D with the, um, you know, what law enforcement. You will, though, because you're going to be really, you're going to end up becoming really close with this person, the undercover cop or officer. Um, yeah, so... But, all right, guys, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit like, you know, if you're not karmic, please, hit the, please hit the like button. <laughs> um, please hit share if you like to share it. And please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so and who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in a little bit. God bless, guys.